Mew, the ancestor of all Pokemon, so it is in legend. However, does it being mythical translate to its usefulness in competitive? In my opinion, yeah. Mew is an interesting Pokemon, able to learn any move in the game within limitation of what's available via move tutors and TMs, making it an incredibly versatile Pokemon. It also has base 100 stats across the board, meaning in theory you can mold Mew into whatever role you like. However, for every role it can play, there is always a better option out there to use. Today we're going to be trying what in my opinion is the best way to use Mew as a setup sweeper, with access to the likes of Swords Dance and one of my favourite moves, Scale Shot. With this set, Mew can snowball out of control real quick. Today we have two battles with Mew against Kozuki and Daz, so if you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing to the channel as we're on our way to 20,000 subscribers and I'd love for you to be a part of that journey. So without further ado, I present to you all the Mew video. Okay, Kozuki has brought a pretty cool team with the uh, Honchkrow, the Incineroar, the Zoroark, Hisui, Umbreon, Hisui and Gudra and a Glimora. Nice team, I will say. So Mew goes kind of hard here if we can get up a nice... Um, Nice Dragon Dance or Swords Dance, whichever one it is we have got. I think it's Swords Dance we're using. Um, I might lead off with Hisui and Samurai just to get the spikes up straight away because Glimora is probably going to be their lead, so we can just do some for stuff to that. Um, alternatively, we could uh, Volt Switch with the Electrode on the Glimora and then go into Gudra and not have Toxic Spikes to help. I think, I think that's a good idea because they could lead with Zoroark as well, pretending to be something else. So we want to be faster, right? So let's do that. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Kozuki. So they're going to lead off with buff Garfield, the Incineroar, or is it? We'll see if they've got Intimidate or not. So we lead off with Electrode, so it's not a bad, bad lead. They have got Intimidate, so they are the Incineroar, which is great to know. So we definitely want to... Oh, they eject packed us because of the Intimidate. Oh, no. We lost the eject pack straight away. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but at least we get a free switch into wherever we want against the Incineroar. Now, I am very much leading towards Samurai here, so I'm going to go Samurai. And looking at the team, I would say Razor Shell is probably the best option. As much as I want Spikes up. Actually, Spikes would be really cool here. I feel like they're going to go for a Willow, so I want to get damage off of the Incineroar straight away. They go for a Fake Out, which is fine. That's going to break our Sash, just whatever. We flinch and can't move. We'll try that again. Let's go for a Razor Shell. Razor Shell comes through. They do stay in. And they get cleanly KO'd by the Hisui Samurai's Razor Shell with critical hits. Oh dear. I think there's a high crit chance on Razor Shell. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong there, but either way, crit was unfortunate for them, but really good for us. In comes Grace. Who's Grace? That is the Glimora. Okay, Glimora is here. So we should have speed here, right? Let's go for um let's go. I mean, we're gonna get toxic spikes up here either way. So we may as well go for a flip turn, right? And then go into something else to take care of that. Um, alternatively, we could go into Mew and Swords Dance here. Mew and Swords Dance, that could be cool. Um, I think I'll flip turn into Mew. So we go for a flip turn. It's going to do a lot of damage to the Glimora. We get the Toxic Spikes up, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And now, if they're going to go for an Energy Ball, potentially, maybe we shouldn't go Mew here because we don't want to get poisoned, right? We don't want to get poisoned. So what do we got to take care of this? We've got Rapid Spin on the his, on the um, Great Tusk. Uh, if we assume we're going to go for an Energy Ball here instead of a Stealth Rocks, then we should go into our Electrode. I think I will go Electrode. So Old Ball and Quinn back in. Quinn back in means business. Outspeeds everything on the team. We do get poisoned, which is unfortunate, but it is fine. And they actually go for an Energy Ball, which is great. So we made a good switch there, which is fine. Great switch, great switch. Poison's going to come into effect. And now we just go for a Volt Switch here into Great Tusk, right? We go for a Volt Switch into Great Tusk. I think we go for a Volt Switch into Great Tusk. So there's Volt Switch coming through. Boom. And now I'm thinking about it. I, I feel like... I feel like... The best thing for us to go into is probably Gudra. Because if we go Great Tusk, it invites in the... The Suing Zoroark for a start. Which we don't want. We don't want that. Um, I guess we could go Samurai as well. I think Samurai's a good play. So we'll go Samurai. We are spreading poison a little bit here. It's fine. It's fine. We can handle that. All right. Gudra comes in. That's fine. Gudra's a fine choice here for them. Um, it could be the Zoroark still. We don't know. So I'm going to go for a Ceaseless Edge anyway. Um, it is not the Zoroark. Otherwise, they would have outsped. But we do a clean 50% to that Gudra with uh, Ceaseless Edge, which is great. And we also get the spikes up as well, which is also great. So they go for a curse because the Glamour is gone, so spikes are there for good. 
So back to the Aruba. So they are a curse set, which is interesting. Are they going to be rest te uh, rest set that with Riv Curse? Uh, that's the real question. We don't know what item they've got. Um, so I guess we could go for a knockoff here. Just to get rid of the Chesto Berry if they've got Chesto Berry, if they are Chesto Resto. Knockoff comes through. Chesto Berry. Yeah, okay, so cool. Um, they go for Body Presto. That's going to take us out cleanly. And now they can't really go for Rest or anything. So we're actually in a really good position right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Mew. I'm not going to bother trying to get rid of the Hazards because they've got four Pokemon left. I think we just need this. So let's go Mew. We do get poisoned. Synchronize isn't going to work because of the fact that they're Steel, they're steel type. Um, so that's all well and good. Let's go for a Swords Dance. Swords Dance comes through. There we go. He's looking pretty good right now. As they do go for a rest, which is fine. They haven't got the Chesto Berry, so they're not going to be able to do much else with that. Um, what we can do here is, though, we can go for another Swords Dance. And then we can proceed to Scale Shot this thing in the face with a Terra Dragon Scale Shot. I think that's the way to go forward here. So, and um, they only got one layer of to Toxic Spikes up, so it's just regular Poison. So there's nothing going to rack up. Let's go for another Swords Dance. They do withdraw the Gudra. Are they going to go Hisui and Zoroark? Umbreon, that's going to be the Zoroark there, right? Because we set up a Swords Dance, which means we could have Drain Punch, which we don't, but we could have. So they get hurt by Spikes. Swords Dance comes through. Which is fine. And now we sim- Oh wait, the Leftovers, they might be the Umbreon. They probably are the Umbreon. And they're probably going to go for a Foul Play here. So we have to hope and pray that Terra Dragon Scale Shot can KO here. So let's go for the Terra Dragon Scale Shot right now. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So there we go. We're going to Terrestrialize into a Dragon type. Like so. Boom. And hopefully plus four scale shot can do the job. Hopefully it can do the job. So they go for a protect, which is fine. We could have gone for an SD again there, but we wouldn't do that because they could always foul play. But we go for a scale shot and obviously it's going to, it's going to fail because of the protect. So that's fine. It doesn't give us a defense boost, uh, drop and speed boost though, even though it fails. Which is good to know. I already knew that. I don't know why I pointed that out. So we go for a scale shot. It's boosted by Terra. It's a plus four. Should do a lot of damage to the Umbreon. It does, in fact. I think it is a four hit KO, right? Yeah, it is. Which is awesome. There we go. One more time. Should do the trick. It does. Umbreon goes down. That was a crit. I don't think the crit mattered, but hey ho. We take those. Wicked comes in. That's going to be the uh, Honchko, right? Yeah, Honchko comes in. Nice and shiny. Um, it does take spikes damage, so we know it's the Zoroark, which is good to know. Um, let's go for the Ice Skull Spear because it's more accurate. Ice Skull Spear comes through. We know it's not the Honchkrow because it took spikes damage. So we don't have to worry about a Sucker Punch there. A Zoroark is going to go down to two Ice Skull Spears. Two Ice Skull Spears. Mew's coming through for us right now. I'm wondering if they have got actually got a Sucker Punch on the Honchkrow because it will, it will take us out. Now comes Gudra. So they must not have Sucker Punch on the Honchkrow. It might be that um, special Honchkrow that you see running around sometimes. Although you don't really see Honchkrow running around that often. But let's let's go for a scale shot to be honest with you. Let's go for it. Boosted by Terra. We don't miss which is nice. Oh and that takes out the Gudra definitely in three hits. Definitely takes out the Gudra in three hits. Mew is coming through. Mew coming through. What a legend. Literally. In comes Wicked, the Honchkrow. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. So, are we going to see a Sucker Punch here? Let's find out. Let's go for an Icicle Spear. They do have a Sucker Punch. So, why didn't they go into that before? They might want to be able to go for a Scale Shot to get the defense lowered. Or they were banking on the uh, Poison racking up for the, you know, higher chance of KOing. And um, they're going to get a Moxie Boost now, though, which is awesome. Honchkrow is cool to see. We love to see it. Uh, now, what do we do? Let's go into... I, I guess we go... Um, let's go into the Dunsparce. I'm sure the Dunsparce can take a Sucker Punch or a Brain Bird. Like plus one. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we are at speed, actually. Um, so let's go for a Boom Burst, because Boom Burst should do a lot of damage. There's Boom Burst coming through. Oh, it doesn't quite get the KO, which is unfortunate. Um, we do get the Throat Spray, though, which is nice. And then if they go for a Brave Bird here, they get taken out by the Recoil, so... That's good to know. They are actually... Ooh. Mirror Herb. Interesting. So they go for a Brave Herd. That's going to take us out, right? Yeah, it takes us cleanly out. 
But they go down to the recoil. So that's going to be the game. So Mew what is a game. Awesome. I mean, the Sucker Punch came through the end there against Mew. But you know what? It's a Mew W. Let's, let's take it. Okay, Daz has brought a pretty strong looking team with the Hippowdon. The Iron Valiant, Excadrill, Iron Moth, Miascarada, and a Dragapult. That's some powerful looking stuff. Let's see if Mew and Co. can do it. Um, I kind of want to lead off straight away with my Hisuian Samurai because they could lead with Hippo. Um, they might also lead with the uh, Dragapult, which is a possibility. Or the Miascarada. Either way, we're Focus Sash, so this is a good lead for us. So we just lead Hisuian Samurai all the time, really. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Dad. So they're going to lead off with the Dragapult. As I led off with Hisui and Samurai, so this isn't a bad lead. They could think we're scarfed here. So they might not go ahead and stay in. So I'm going to go straight for a Ceaseless Edge. I don't see any reason not to. They actually Terra. What type are they going to Terra into straight off the bat? That's that's interesting. So off the bat, they're going to Terra into a... Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, dragon type. Interesting. So they're going to go for a Dragon Darts probably, which is going to KO us if they are Dragon Darts. Um, despite the Focus Sash. They actually are an Infestation set. That's interesting. That is interesting AF. So we go for a Ceaseless Edge though. That's going to do a lot of damage. Doesn't it? It's a two shot, which is nice. We get the Spikes up, which is also double nice. But the Infestation does affect us, which is unfortunate. Now, Infestation is an interesting move to have on Dragapult, that's for sure. So let's go for a another Ceaseless Edge. I don't see any reason not to. They go for a Dragon Dance in our face. Banking on the Ceaseless Edge miss here, clearly. As we don't miss, then we just tear that Dragapult to shreds, which is great. And we get another layer of spikes up. So Dragapult goes down. No idea what they were doing with that Dragapult at the start there. But you know what? We take it. It's uh, it's fine by me. It's fine by me. Yeah, Scarada comes in. That's a good one. Um, definitely good, the, the best thing they could have gone into there. Hurt by the spikes, so it's not boots, which is good to know. Um, now, do we have a switch in here? I I'm leaning towards Gudra. Um, but they probably go for a U-turn here. Uh... I don't think they'll go for a flower trick. I don't think I can afford to switch anything in, really. So, what I'll do is, at our priority, so I'll go for a flip turn just in case they don't KO us. But they do go for a U-turn, and that could definitely KO us if they're banded. As it... We live on 1 HP. We live on 1 HP. Are you kidding me right now? We get a free flip turn off on whatever we want. And hopefully we'll see a Valiant or Iron Moth would be good. But the Hippowdon comes in, that's fine. The Pardon is more than fine. Get some spikes damage, which is fine. Sand streams up, which is also fine. We go for a flip turn. Nice bit of damage on the Hippo. They are a berry, which is going to recover the health. It's a citrus berry, which is good to know. Uh, and then we go back. So what do we do in this situation? Now, I'm leaning towards Mew. It's whether I think they've got Whirlwind or not. I'm going to go Mew. I'm going to go Mew. A Tavis. Because they're probably going to think we're Stealth Rocks and stuff like that. No one ever expects the Scale Shot Swords Dance Mew. No one ever expects it. It's got the stats for it. It's got the Terror for it. Let's go for the Swords Dance. We won't Terror just yet. We'll go for the Swords Dance. There we go. They go for a Yawn. Ah! That's uh, unfortunate, but we will synchronize wherever we uh, yawn, so that's 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 fine. Um, now we can just go for an icicle spear, just take out this hip out on. Or do we switch out? I think we switch out here. I think we just go ahead and sack Samurai here, because Sandstorm's going to take us down anyway. So we'll go into Samurai real quick. They might go for a whirlwind. Stealth rocks. That's fine. Stealth rocks are up. We can get rid of those with Great Tusk later, so I'm not too worried about that. Not too worried about that at all. As we go down to the Sandstorm, which is fine. That's, that's, that's the intention here behind Hizui and Samurai coming in. So um, now, now that we know that things are good, we can't sell up in its face. So now we are going to go into our Dunsparce because nothing on their team wants to switch in on a Boom Burst, really. So the Dunsparce comes in. Point of Stones do dig in, which is unfortunate. Uh, boom Burst does more damage than Ice Beam, I believe. And we activate our Throat Spray, so I'm going to go for that. There we go. Ice Beam wouldn't have KO'd there either. They probably do around the same amount of damage, but one boost my attack with, with, with boost my special attack with a throw spray, we have one doesn't. As they go for a yawn, which is fine. So yawn is fine. Yawn is fine. So we get buffed by the sandstorm. Let's see what we can do here. I'm leaning towards just going for another boom burst. I am gonna go for another boom burst. I don't see any reason not to. If my Dundun's Pulse gets put to sleep, so be it. Isn't 
But let's be real. Iron Valiant is taking us out. Miascrod is taking us out. Iron Moth is taking us out. Exodus is taking us out. You know, the Sandstorm is actually just gone, actually, with the Hippowdon fainting. So that's not bad at all for us, because Excadrill is now no longer a threat. Speaking of Excadrill, it gets a free Rapid Spin right now, because we're asleep. So... It breaks the mold, so it's not Sand Rush, which is interesting. So we're asleep. Um, we don't have a Ghost type either. So I guess our best bet is to just go into our Great Tusk. So I'm going to go Great Tusk now. So we'll withdraw our Dunsparce, who is asleep. And we'll go into Great Tusk, which is great in general. So there we go. Great Tusk is in. Stones do dig in. We can Rapid Spin another way. They go for a Rapid Spin of their own to get rid of their own uh, spikes on their side. Which is fine. It's going to boost their speed a little bit, but we're not too worried about this um, extra drill anyway. So that's not the end of the world. We're going to get some leftovers recovery as well. And now we simply go for our own rapid spin. Get rid of those uh, hazards from our side of the field. That's, that's the idea of this. So they go for an iron head, which is going to sting a little bit. It might flinch us. We don't flinch. We get the rapid spin off, which is great. Stealth rocks are gone. Always nice. And now, all we simply do here is we just go for a... We just simply go for a Earthquake, right? Because nothing wants to switch into an Earthquake. We could get rocks up. No, we go for an Earthquake. They go for an EQ of their own. Just get damage off on the Great Tusk, which makes sense. And then we go for an EQ, and that should take out the Extra Drill, no problem. There we go. Extra Drill goes down, which is fine. So, with Extra Drill gone, we're in a much better position. Meow Scarada comes in. That thing is going to take us out with a flower trick, no doubt. Especially if it's banded, which it could well be. Um, I think we sagged the Dunsparce here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we'll withdraw. We'll withdraw. We'll go into the Dunsparce. So if they go for a knockoff, predicting something else coming in here, um, which they might do. They go for a flower trick, though. That's fine. If it takes us out, we know it's banded. So flower trick comes through. Boom. Doesn't take us out. So that is not banded. Let's go for a boom burst just in case we wake up, but they actually go for another flower trick anyway, which is obviously going to take us out from here. So, um, Dudun's boss goes down, which is fine, absolutely fine. Not bothered about this at all. Right, so there's a couple things we could do here. We could go into Electrode and we can start doing our thing. Um, I think Electrode Terra Ice is probably a good answer here. I think Gudra is also a really good answer here. I think I will go Gudra. So Gloopy comes in. And we'll just go for a Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb should KO from here, right? They withdraw the Meow Scrada anyway. They probably go into the Iron Valiant, if anything. The yeah, Iron Valiant comes in. That's great. That's why I went for the Sludge Bomb, just in case they went for this. So Iron Valiant comes in. Gets the Booster Energy, which is going to boost its speed more than likely. Speed was heightened. There we go. And then we go for a Sludge Bomb. Should do a lot of damage. Might KO. It does KO, which is great. Iron Valiant goes down, which is fantastic. Iron Valiant goes down, which is fantastic. Meow Scarada comes in, which is great. Probably going to see a knockoff here. Let's go for... Let's just drop a Draco on it. Because they actually go for a Triple Axle, which is going to KO my Gudra, unfortunately. Unless they only hit twice. But they, they hit three times, which is fine. So this tells me... This tells me... That this thing is banded of some kind. Or scarfed. One of the two. So I say, I say we go Mew, we scale shot, or we can rock blast. No, I think we go scale shot. So we go Mew here, we scale shot. We've got rock blast for the Iron Moth. They've already terrored. Let's go for a scale shot. They withdraw the Meowth Grotto. That's great. That is great for us. Iron Moth comes in. Are we going to see a booster energy and speed? It's nice and shiny as well. Got to love it. Let's see what happens. So they are booster energy. Are they going to be booster energy and speed? Special attack. Even better. That means we outspeed the next turn. So we go for a scale shot. It's obviously not going to KO the Iron Moth from here. However, if we hit all five times, we hit four times. Four times is still a two shot. So we get that speed boost. Which is what we wanted. We tear our size into a dragon type and we go for another scale shot here because if that Meow Scrod is scarfed, like I think it is, then it still outspeeds us. So there we go. We're going to tear our into a dragon type. Mew's going to finish off the game here. Let's see how this goes. Boom. 
Terror Dragon Mew coming through. If we miss the scale shot, that's going to be really unfortunate, but we, we should live a fiery dance. So we don't miss the scale shot, which is really nice. As there we go. That should KO the Iron Moth in three hits. It does, which is great. We get a second speed boost, allowing us to outspeed Choice Scarf Meow Scarada, which is fantastic. I don't know for a fact the Choice Scarf, but, you know, it is, it is. it's a good possibility. It's a very good possibility that they are Choice Scarfed. All right, in comes Meow Scarada now. We just simply go for an Icicle Spear here, and this should KO here. So even if the Focus Sash is definitely KOing, not that they, not that they matters because Focus Sash is not a thing with this Meow Scarada at the moment because it has health already dropped. We KO with Ice Cold Spear, and that's going to be the game. We finish it with Mew, which is fantastic. So, G, G, Daz, that was a fun one. Mew for the win. Well, that was fun. Mew really showed my opponents he means business. If you want to try out the team, feel free to. There's also a Pokepaste in the description down below. And with all that being said, I'll catch you all in a bit.